This movie really did put the fun in cruising again, didn't it? What's going on guys and welcome to another reputized video. Ghost Ship is directed by Steve Beck, came out back in 2002 and stars Juliana Margulies. I know I'm pronouncing that name wrong, I apologize. Gabriel Byrne, Carl Urban, and more. It's all about a salvage crew who discovers a long lost 1962 passenger ship floating lifeless in a remote region of the Bering Sea and soon notices that its long-dead inhabitants may still be on board. This one was pretty interesting. I, I liked the direction of the film. It took it in a way that I never really expected. Basically, the plot, the subplot is there's gold involved. And what else is new? There's always going to be money involved, especially when it came to the third act of this, when you find out what actually happened. I thought they did it in a really good stylistic way. Gail Tattersall's lighting and cinematography was pretty good. He, she gave it that really dark feel. You could see what was going on. She wanted to make sure that it was dark enough. It was really good the way she did it. I, I, I actually liked it. So the direction by Steve Beck, the story and the writing. I, I can't say too much without spoiling it. You know, this movie did come out in 2002, so most of y'all probably already seen it. But for those of you who haven't, I will not spoil it, but it, it, it was okay. It was a kind of a head-scratcher at some points, but it was okay. Roger Barton's editing was done pretty well. It wasn't choppy or anything. It was, it was done pretty good. You, you could tell what was going on. It wasn't all these fast cuts that you see in most movies nowadays. This movie came out back when horror movies actually was worth a dang. John Frizzell, I think that's how you pronounce his name, I apologize. His score was done pretty well. It was it was eerie. And in those little dark moments where they'd be uh, looking around the ship and just exploring, it felt like he put like some ghost sounds in the mix as well. So I thought that was pretty good. All right, the positive, it, it was a good horror flick for what it was. The editing, the, the lighting, the cinematography, it, it was a good horror film for what it was. You got the main character played by Juliana, who, who was terrific in this movie. I really liked her character. To me, it seemed like she showed more authority than Gabriel Byrne. It, it, it seemed like she should have been in charge instead of him. Some of the other characters was fine. They got pretty good actors to play in this movie. and I like the way this movie played their characters out. You actually get to care for a lot of them. There's this little girl in there that you really ha you really felt for because she was the only one that actually seemed like she didn't get killed at the beginning. Again, I can't spoil too much for you. It, it all lays it out by the third act. And, uh, you know, you get to find out what happened to her, and it's it's pretty sad. There, there's a little heartfelt moment in there, even though it did go a little too fast with the flashbacks and all. But I like the way this movie told what happened. It was, it was pretty good. And some of them are actually kind of funny, in a way, like some of the characters as well. Especially Carl Urban's character. He was a hoot in some scenes. By the time the third act happens... You get, a, you get to see what all happens on that ship because the movie starts so brutal. When I watched it and the, that beginning scene happened, it showed that and then it does a time jump. I should have speculated on this earlier. I apologize. It shows something that happened in 1962, which was horrible. And then it time jumps to present day. Well, later on in the third act, you get to find out what... All that was, which I won't spoil it for you, but it's pretty bad. <laughs> Let's just say I would not want to be on a passenger or anywhere near the ship when all that crap happens. All right, the negatives, it kind of balances out. When the third act happened, the main villain shows up and like, it took me by surprise, but by the time he showed himself, I just wasn't really impressed. They could have done a little better. Yes, it was one of those that did a 180 on you, but... I don't know, like once he showed up and showed his true self, it sh they could have done better. That's all I'm saying. That's all I can say. <laughs> it felt like what ghost story movies, sh how they should be made now. You know, Hollywood gets so wrapped up on this PG-13 rating bullcrap. Oh, we need to 
rope as many people as we can. That's just frustrating to me. It's just they need to they need to get away from that mindset. Ghost Ship is rated R, of course. It's got a lot of blood and gore. That's another positive I should have thrown into this as well. It was done really good. It has its flaws, but the rating the rating really helped. And that's just a problem, I think, that what we have with, with horror movies nowadays. My final thoughts for Ghost Ship. It was good for what it was. You could probably play it in the background at a Halloween party if you're the host of this big grand Halloween party at your house. You could have that playing on the TV in the back for the Halloween festivities. Especially if you had like a real big screen TV or something. But Ghost Ship was good. I'm not degrading it. Ghost Ship gets a B-. minus. Now like I said, it's not without its flaws, but I liked it. It was actually one of those ghost story movies that really needs to be made more of nowadays. All we get is PG-13 crap, and because of that, I feel like the way stories are being told in horror movies nowadays are really weak. That's one advantage this movie had. I thought it was strong, especially compared to the horror movies that comes out nowadays. I hope you liked this video, guys. I'm so sorry it took me so, so long to get another review out there. I promise y'all I'll try to keep them coming. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. If you like this video, like, subscribe, get reputized, share this video, peace to rip out, and also happy Halloween.